of this rebranding exercise because our current logo is 13 years old and needs updating. Actually, until today, I I don't know what UMW initial stand for. What does UMW stand for? U symbol stand for unity. U? You must work. <laughs> what? Oh, United Motor Works. <laughs> I, I I never I never knew this. I, um, but now no more. We 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 recognize it more as unity. Okay. Oh, United Motor Works. I didn't know that. So the transformation objective is of course to uncover and amplify common values in the UFW group. See, it's not all about just rebranding the logo, it's not all about the logo, it's the value that, that, that the brand carries. We as an employee, we need to carry uh, good values so that we can deliver uh, 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 we can deliver customers' expectations. We can fulfill the promises. Okay? Uh, before that, uh, uh, I will show you later what are the new values. Uh, and also, one of the transformation objectives is to differentiate UMW from our competitors and to support UMW's global expansion. Okay. Um, right. I would like to show you some visuals for you to recognize, for you to see if you can identify what what are these brands without even seeing the whole, I mean the whole uh, image of the brand. Does anyone know? McDonald's! Okay, what about this one? Right. What about this one? What about this one? Okay, but the thing is that. What? UMW? But the thing is that I'm not supposed to show you this 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 slide by right because I uh we, we have not revealed the, 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 the new UMW. Yes. So it comes together with the slide. Okay, now uh why rebranding important because uh, brand adds value. As you can see, there are two paper cups here, right? They look the same, okay? The contents look the same, right? But what makes it, uh, what, what adds to the value is that you see one cup without the logo. It, it is, uh, the, the cup is probably RM120. Uh, you can just get it anywhere in the, uh, from, from Mama Shop or anywhere. But, when you have a certain <coughs> brand on the particular paper cup, right, and you know that Starbucks is a very well-known brand, and it adds value to that brand, and so it is expensive compared to the normal, you know, to, to the normal paper cup brand. So that is why we need to have a quality, we need to uh, a quality brand, and 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 this brand adds value, and so. Our, our brand, our new brand also, we need to show to our uh, competitors, to our customers that we have a strong uh, brand and it carries strong values. Innovation. Right. Innovation. Right. So when you see a person itself, you know he's a famous person. When you see a person itself, you know who is he and what does he stand for, right? So in that same way, we want to apply the same thing to UMW. So when a person sees UMW logo, he should be able to recognize uh, what does UMW stand for, what are our businesses besides Toyota. Okay, we have m and &E, we have equipment, and we have oil and gas. <laughs> okay, so great brands make an attractive promise and then deliver it, we will deliver it consistently, internally and externally. Okay, as you can see, this is the UMW logo development. Uh, we have gone through a series of uh, uh, logo selection and we have finally selected the, the, the current logo. So these were the logos that were proposed by our consultants earlier. And so everybody, um, our uh, brand steering committee, uh, you know, they find
finally chose this logo because of of the you know the new the new word that signified unity and it's vibrant because it's also um, uh, symbolizes in our values. Okay, as you can see, the U the U letter okay it symbolizes unity. Uh, earlier it was uh, referred as uh, United Motor Works, uh, and you can see the design and color is vibrant, it's dynamic, it's transformation from the previous logo. I, I'm sure I'm not sure about the new uh, stuff, but I'm sure the old stuff has seen our our old logo, which is that red color logo. This is the 2008 presentation. Okay. I don't have any other presentation. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. I thought you are in Brazil. No. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so from what, I've, from what I've mentioned earlier, okay, what we've learned is that strong brands have strong identities. So therefore, we must project and maintain a positive image both internally and externally. And we must, uh, uh, we must, uh, embark on this new rebranding exercise so that uh, our customers and our clients will know our strong identity and what are the businesses that we offer. As you can see, these are some examples that I would like to give you. Uh, the BT transformation. You can see the old uh, BT logo and the new BT logo. All right. Uh, earlier in 2001, it was ranked uh, Magazine, uh, the most admired company here, Top Sale. And in uh, 2002, after the launch of the new brand, it is uh, number one, yeah? most admired company. Right. Um, okay. Um, after okay, after BT has uh, rebranded uh, its uh, logo, they also came up with this. Image that that they are they are more to a green company and supports a cleaner future with less depend dependency on 